The report says details of expenditure were omitted from the vote book and the treasury records. The audit was also hampered by the absence of information regarding the project. When asked about the Auditor General's report on the Seacousby Harbour Development Project, Third District Representative and VIP Chairman Julian Fraser was evasive. I think you ought to leave that alone for now. Okay. Please, leave that alone for now. You're going right, to have a field day when that time comes. While Fraser has asked to leave the matter alone, the Auditor General's report reveals lack of transparency and misuse of government funds. The report says there were few public records relating to the period 2006 to 2011, where a substantial amount of public funds were applied. The Auditor General said multiple accounts across the recurrent and capital budget makes it difficult to determine the overall cost of the project. The implementation of the project also raised issues of related party activity involving former communications and works minister Julian Fraser and the developer. The report says no specific account was used exclusively for the project. Approximately one-third of $1.1 million allocated for the project, or $363,536, was used on the construction of a retaining wall, sidewalks, and roads within the 3rd District outside of the Harbour project. According to the report, seven contractors were paid 10% deposits to provide concrete sheet piles for bulkheading the west side of the Seacousby Harbor. Five were to be paid $96,666 for 38 sheet piles and two others $97,023 for 56 sheet piles. Of the seven contractors, only two completed the job and were paid in full. When the document was laid in the House of Assembly on September 11, during the ninth sitting of the House, Fraser deployed what may be termed defensive maneuvers. In September 2001, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Labor, led by Honorable Julian Fraser, engaged Smith Anborg Architects Limited to produce a conceptual development for the Seacouse Bay Harbor. The proposal was adopted by Executive Council on October 30, 2002. The ministry entered into a contract with A.R. Potter and Associates Limited in January 2003, and the contract was signed by Honorable Fraser and the permanent secretary in his ministry at an estimated cost of $1,350,000. A forensic study conducted by PricewaterhouseCoopers from September 2012 and completed in January 2013 revealed a plethora of very serious problems. This led to a shakeup in the Treasury Department and Accountant General Kareed Fraser opted to retire, while the then acting Accountant General Anna Rapsat was reassigned to the Ministry of Finance. Sean Rose, JTV News.